Hey guys, welcome back to my apartment. <laughs> I'm back at school right now, so I can't really do much out in the shop, but I did find some video clips from a project that I built for my friend Rachel for her birthday about four years ago. And it's pretty terrible, so, you know, let's watch that. All right, so to start, I'm not entirely sure what I was thinking when I filmed this, but this looks like most of the wood that I used. And for some reason, I'm showing all the tools that I used. And here I am cutting the particle board with a circular saw, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, so this is great. I, I have no idea why I thought it would be a good idea to show me drawing out the plans. <laughs> Can I downvote my own video? <laughs> I might do that. Well, and uh, here it looks like I just decided to cut everything off camera. <laughs> so this part right here is actually a little bit important. This is a method of squaring things up that I learned, or I guess kind of taught myself, while playing the Forge mode in Halo 3 way back in the day. And basically you just take a few pieces of wood and butt them up against each other so that you have... Uh, I guess the best way to explain it is there's only one place that the board can go. Uh, it's probably a bit easier just to look at that, but yeah, that um, that was how I put this together. And just casually walking in front of the camera, probably could have put the camera on the other side. And I think, wait, is the fence on the wrong side of the table saw? Oh, oh, wait a second, okay, I, I'm starting to remember why I never actually finished this video. Um, this is pretty much the only time that I've gotten hurt in the shop, and I still have the scar on my thumb. But I'm giving a thumbs up, so I, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> so here it is. This is the nightstand that I built for Rachel, and I don't remember why she said that she wanted one, but she said that she would paint it. So I just kind of finished it here. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have used a router around the edge and, you know, just in general made it look a little bit nicer. But here are some pictures of uh, the painting and stuff that Rachel put on it. And it looks pretty good for, you know, how poorly uh, assembled it was. I'm actually kind of feeling bad about this now. And uh, when I get back to the shop, I need to build Rachel another one. Except Rachel told me not to build another one for her. Because I said that I was going to build it with a drawer this time. And she claims that there's no way for her to access the drawer where it is right now. So I'm thinking it should open from the top? We'll see. Probably next summer. Maybe. Maybe not. I might forget. 